Hello everybody, in this Rhino Grasshopper video demo, I would like to show how we can create a simple definition that can be used to select an item or object from multiple options. By the way, this is a requested video. Okay, let's start. Let's use what we have on screen for illustration purpose. I created a fairly simple definition that will allow for the placement of geometry onto multiple planes okay and a less and elegant way of doing it is to do a right mouse click and then select the objects that has been um, created for the purpose okay namely the cone the box and the truncated pyramid okay However, in this um, demo, I would like to show a more elegant way of making selections. And to do that, we will have to go to the sets and select and put in the pick and choose component. Okay, We will use the pick and choose component to allow us to pick the required item. As we have three items that can be used for our selection we will have to increase the stream to an additional one okay by clicking on this plus sign we are able to add another stream so zero will correspond to in our case here this cone one will correspond to the box and two will correspond to the truncated pyramid and i'm going to do the necessary uh, definition over here to associate these three objects onto the respective streams okay so what I'm going to do is go to param geometry and duplicate a few of these by pressing the alt key and I'm going to do a right mouse click set one geometry and set this to to this repeat the process again right mouse click set one geometry and associate it to the box and lastly, set one geometry and associate it to the truncated pyramid and then connect them to the corresponding stream. Okay. Now, to make the selection a bit more graphically appealing, I'm going to add a drop down menu into this uh, definition setup. And we can do so by going to the params input and use. A value list okay and you can see that the value list itself allows for selection via drop down menus and what I'm going to do is let's double click on it to change the options within it okay so we have to name the options according to the index of the stream so I'm going to set this to zero this to one and this to two and we don't have this we don't need this we're going to delete this and then going to name them corresponding to the object that they are associated to okay so in this case here uh, this zero is um our cone okay cone this correspond to the box and index two correspond to the truncated pyramid okay and then that's it you click okay and connect this value list component to the pattern and now let's connect this to the geometry component and you can see that yep we are able to replicate the selected object in this case the cone onto the planes and if I want to change the object to be replicated to let's say a box I can click on this to access the drop down menu and then select the the required item okay in this case I want the box you can see yeah our selected object is now the box and let's change this to the truncated pyramid I'm able to change okay so this is um elegant way of creating a 
definition that allows for the selection of an item or object from multiple options. With that, I come to the end of this demo. Hope that's been useful. See you. Bye.